Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. This is the Fortuner which is like a regular SUV from Toyota. This is the Land Cruiser Prado which you can call as the pro SUV from Toyota and this is the Land Cruiser LC200 which you can call as the Pro Max SUV from Toyota. And of course the Ultra Pro Max is this which is the LC300 come after 14 years. Yeah, 14 years is the age difference between both these cars. Obviously, it's got a lot of facelifts in between. So that's the LC200. This is the LC300. The disappointing news is that Toyota has actually dropped the 5.7 liter V8 and replaced it with the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine. That's the reason the older model is actually more expensive than the newer one. Yes, that's right. This is more expensive. Yeah, that is more expensive than the newer model. So I'll just tell you the pricing. You can see it says 392, which is approximately into 20 comes up around somewhere like 78 lakhs or so for the LC200. This is the LC300 which costs 357 turns out around 70 lakhs or so for the top end variant. Now this is not the top end, this is the mid level GXR. The top end is obviously the VXR which is not available only at the moment, it's going to be available next year. It has slightly more features like a multi-terrain camera, you can see there's no camera at the front. The VXR obviously has a front camera along with a camera under the body as well. Okay, it's more boxy but it retains the essence of a Land Cruiser. Straight away we're going to be opening the engine bay and this is the 3.5 litre V6 twin turbo. It says twin turbo right there. There's insulation here as well and obviously hydraulic struts as well. Engine bay is super duper neat. I love the way the Toyota, love the way Toyota actually does the engine bay. I'm going to shut this at the moment and yeah, that's shut. So smooth, so nice. You can see boxy. You see the change, dramatic change. Like, uh, I actually like the design of the old LC. This is just too modern, too futuristic, too sharp, which doesn't go with the Land Cruiser image. There are vents here on the side. There's a massive vent there as well. Front parking sensors, no front parking camera on this car. Okay, headlight washers, of course, all LED lights. Uh, you know, it's not spectacular at the rear where the old LC actually looks better to me. Coming to the side, I, I mean, look at the grill. Like, a lot of chrome treatment here and there. Three variants, EXR, GXR and VXR. Price range actually starts slightly under 60 lakh rupees. In fact, they also have a mid-level GR Sport trim, which has actually smaller wheels, along with, I think, more suspension travel as well and sportier bits, the way Toyota does with the red inserts here and there. 20 inch wheels on this car and the tyre size happens to be a 265-55-20 chrome plated wheels. See the suspension, that's amazing, looks nice. It's nice actually, squared wheel arches, there's this kink here on the A pillar, there's this kink on the C pillar, D pillar, yeah actually on the D pillar as well. But this car doesn't have all the features because obviously it is a lower trim which happens to be the GXR. Coming to the rear, it says twin turbo here proudly and doesn't look spectacular at the rear. Land Cruiser boldly written right there. In fact, when I talk about spectacular, I still think the old LC200 looks popular. A lot of people have told me this car is not selling well in the UAE because they have dropped the V8 and people want a V8 here. So V6 gets the job done for sure, but a V8 is a V8 is a V8 is a V8. This is a VXR Grand Touring. Just see the lights. I like the lights. In fact, I've also done a vlog on the LC200. Anyways, we are shooting against the lights. I'm just going to come and open the boot of this vehicle. Obviously, it gets a power tailgate. It has to. There, we press a button. Actually, it's locked. I need to go and unlock the car. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> so, here we are. Now, the doors are nice. The quality levels are absolutely exceptional. We're just going to press this button to open the boot. I think that's going to open the boot or not. I don't know. Anyway, it says Land Cruiser right here. Electric adjust, obviously. And behind... You can see there's good amount of space on offer. In fact, getting to the rear, not a problem. Just press this button. Okay, the seat is so ahead. We're just going to slide this. No, it's not going to slide. I have not prepared for this vlog. I, it's just so impromptu. I do stuff and realize later what have I done. Now, this is not going to move because, yeah, it's powered and then there's no power in the car at the moment. Anyways, let's try and do something. We'll try it from that side or we'll do it on another car. There you can see there's a parcel shelf in between. There is space for two people. Kids can sit in there comfortably as well. There's a good amount of space here as well. In fact, you have to really step up inside and uh, knee room and leg room is not good because the seat is way behind. But yeah, knee, uh, under thigh support is really very poor. Not impressed at all. And I love the design on the interior front. Air conditioning controls and two USB-C charging sockets along with a 12 volt charging socket. Scooped out seat bag, magazine holders. Seats are really comfortable. Isofix child seat mounts, but no panoramic roof. But Toyota has been so generous by offering a sunroof at the front. Dashboard design actually looks very impressive. That is a 12.3 inch screen on this car. Yeah, 12.3 inch screen. JBL speakers, tweeters actually. There's a tweeters. Door pockets are large enough. Wood treatment. In fact, the car is absolutely spectacular. Toyota, please assemble this in India. Manufacture it locally. Let more politicians buy this car. Jokes aside, this is to open the fuel lid. This is for opening the engine bay. Lot of controls, automatic headlights, boot, and you know what? 
this is for the traction control button now i know why it was not opening the power tailgate because it's powered and there's no power right now it says land cruiser on the mats it's proper dead pedal there as well and you can easily step inside love the way the i mean the quality level is absolutely fantastic and phenomenal piano black finishing this is control obviously for the outside rear view mirrors and uh, for the adjustment obviously and this is for the power window controls now let's step inside there is good amount of storage here and the best thing is actually you can open it from that side as well yeah there you go this is so freaking mercedes and it's a cooled box you press that button it cools twin cup holders here lot of buttons inside as well and uh, you can see it has a drive mode drive mode selector mts dac crawl you know what that is well you can just try and figure that out as well now this is obviously you know what obviously for the locking diffs it has got three differentials as well and here usb charging socket there's a usb c there's a 12 volt charging socket there's a wireless charging pad lot of buttons here air conditioning controls and it should be getting ventilated seats yeah it does this is a 12.3 inch screen which is nice and i can just remove it like that and put it back engine start button instrument cluster is also white steering wheel is nice to a lot of buttons on the steering wheel lane keep assist and cruise control buttons mode functions and there's some wood treatment here as well and easy to get in and out auto dimming inside rear view mirror and light placement here on the top there's light here as well which doesn't turn on at the moment and nice finishing on the top as well mirror and the glove box is massively massive like look at that glove box with so many manuals because you really need to read a lot and then obviously seat belt gets a height adjust function seats are extremely comfortable this center console is huge it's massively massive like really big center console and uh, yeah i mean sunroof is really chintu mintu design is fantastic i mean the interior design is something which is very impressive there buttons hidden here as well so many buttons inside this car is absolutely obnoxious i love the land cruiser but i love this one more than this one because obviously a v8 is a v8 is a v8 and nothing can match a v8 for sure so very squared wheel arches and uh, i honestly think the design of this one is just better this is so iconic now they took 14 years to get a replacement and i don't even know why they got a replacement because this one is already selling very well but people are not accepting the new land cruiser is what i've been told by a lot of people a lot of them are like you know uh, it's not selling as much as it should in fact there are a lot once again i'm wearing my mask because टोयटा गाइज आर लाइक बेटा मास्क पहन लो तुम यहाँ पे घूम रहे हो हमारे शोरूम में थोड़ा तो मास्क पहन के थोड़ी तमीज़ रखो तो इसलिए मैंने मास्क अभी पहन लिया नाउ आई एम जस्ट गोन गो टू द अदर वेरिएंट विच इज एक्चुअली द फोर लीटर इंजन सो दे हैव अ थ्री पॉइंट फाइव लीटर वी सिक्स ट्रेन टर्बो इज अ फोर लीटर विच इज अ नेचुरली एस्पिरेटेड वन दिस इज द वन राइट दैट दिस इज अ वाइट कलर कार एंड दैट वन प्रोड्यूस आई थिंक फोर हंड्रेड नाइन हॉर्स पावर एंड सिक्स फिफ्टी न्यूट्री मीटर्स ऑफ टॉक दिस थ्री पॉइंट थ्री लीटर डीजल विच प्रोड्यूस थ्री हंड्रेड फाइव हॉर्स पावर एंड सेवन हंड्रेड न्यूट्री मीटर्स ऑफ टॉक एंड दिस इज अ फोर लीटर विच एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूस लेट्स रीड इट हेयर टू सेवेंटी वन हॉर्स पावर एंड फाइव थाउंड सिक्स हंड्रेड आपके अगेन दिस इज अ वी सिक्स एंड द प्राइजिंग इज टू नाइनटी टू फॉर द टॉप एंड वी एक्स आर विच इज टू नाइनटी टू उसको टू करोड़ स्लाइटली अंडर सिक्सटी लैक रुपीज फॉर द टॉप एंड वेरियंट या एज एंड वैन यू गो फॉर अ हायर इंजिन ऑब्वियसली द प्राइस कीप्स इंक्रीजिंग वाइट कलर द पॉलिटिशियन कलर और द कलर विच पीपल विल प्रीफर इन इंडिया लुक्स रियली वेरी नाइस हेयर ऑन दिस लैंड क्रूजर ट्वेंटी इंच वीज टू सिक्सटी फाइव फिफ्टी फाइव ट्वेंटी आई मीन Uh, this is also i think the mid level trim but the instrument cluster is chintu mintu here it is a 9 inch unit okay the cabin is finished in black as such so yeah this is actually smaller sunroof is open brings in a lot of airy feeling as well and the usual bits inside lot of space in fact there is storage space here can you guess what was there i think there was some panel which had jbl in the other car so that's a little different mode selector and i mean There's also fire freaking extinguisher inside this car. <laughs> They're going absolutely bonkers. Toyota, I love you for the Land Cruiser mainly, and not for the Granza and the Urban Cruiser. <laughs> Anyways, a decent amount of space on offer, and then because this can be easily slid forward, this is not going to go again. I, oh yeah, it has, it has, it has. Wow, wow, wow. 60, 40. In fact, there is a yeah. Just open this. Twin cup holders here as well, and the rear seats don't look that impressive to me. But you know what? There's actually decent amount of space on offer. There's a charging socket, USB-C charging socket. They've gone bonkers on USB-C, and AC vents are there on the top everywhere. So guys, this is the Toyota Land Cruiser. I think it's hugely impressive. It also gets a towing hook because that's kind of mandatory when you go cruising, and because the power tailgate, this freaking boot is not going to open. So Toyota, an advice for you here in Dubai that when people come to see the car, they will care about the boots. <laughs> Make sure that the boot opens. It it is powered, so somehow you should actually connect the car so that the boot can be opened. So this is a quick look at the Land Cruiser. They are probably going to launch it in India, and when it's going to be launched, it's going to cost an arm, leg, and maybe fifty thousand kidneys as well. Because I expect the pricing to be somewhere, let me guess, around two CR, which is a lot of money. They actually discontinued the Land Cruiser when uh, BS6 norms came into play. The old one, the LC200, was on sale for approximately one point eight crores. Now the old one is still on sale here because it gets a V8 engine. Let me know this or this. I chose that one for sure. because an LC200 is an LC200 with a V8 bye bye take care